<laughs> I'm here with my wife's boyfriend, he says. I just want to <laughs> highlight that. So for our audio listeners here, Alex Stein's in this giant crowd in New York City. They're pushing him around. And now we're at a wide shot of him getting attacked. So the whole thing is basically him selfie camming it to people try to spit at him and throw stuff at him. I thought more coffee on me! More coffee! More coffee! Get out! Get we're all just taking enough. turns That's pushing enough. at him. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> it's like people who always wanted to partake in being a bully finally getting their chance because as he walks out, Alex Stein, that is, as he walks out of the crowd, they all just take these little jabs at him. They all give him little punches or they give him a little shove. Like, yeah, I'm I'm doing it too. I'm beaten. I would hate to see these people in like an actual violent mob. Um, and that's all it would take would be one person, you know, breaking a bottle over his head or something. If one person did that, then I guarantee you these people would engage in, in, in murder. Allegedly, but this, it's just such bad mob mentality that a guy and I, and I've done this myself. I've been, you know, a quote unquote victim of this myself when it's, you're actually not a victim. The protest turns into something about you. I've gone and interviewed people at a, it wasn't instinction rebellion. It was like some sort of sit in environmental protest for oil. They blocked this major intersection in Toronto and they demanded I wear a mask or a face shield. We were outside. One person called me a Nazi for some reason. I'm not sure why. And they just follow you around. And eventually the protest becomes about you. And it, and there's a huge crowd around you like there is here. And you're just like, okay, if you're going to harass me and stop me from doing my job, which is, you know, making commentary about this event, then we can make the whole protest about me. And that, and that just shows the level of, you know, disillusions and, you know, lack of, lack of core competency in your own arguments. When this one person can just in Alex Stein's case, literally just say things that you find offensive, like the most generic things that if you were to say, what would a trans activist find offensive? He can just go up there and say that and they'll lose their minds. When I did it, when it happened to me, of course, nobody was attacking me. A couple of people wanted to. I think a couple of people pushed me. But um, I'm just trying to ask questions about what they're doing there and they can't handle it. And I would just hate to see these people in a place where cameras weren't around because I think we see what happened to somebody like Andy No the one time. And then, of course, the riots, they all just jump in. And when the sun goes down, they turn in from they turn from, you know, uh, pushy little losers in the park to violent criminals. And I just think that we're lucky, especially in Alex's case, that he he's a bigger guy because if it's a girl and she gets pushed on the ground, which has happened to people like Caitlin Bennett, where they mobbed her or Savannah Hernandez, where they mob her, it can get ugly really fast. But people like Alex Stein and even uh, my guys, Danny Mullen and Leo Dottavio, they're bigger guys, especially Leo and Danny. They're both like six, three. And when these things happen, it kind of helps diffuse it when there's, you know, not a threat of physical violence against the person, but they still try. And you'll see more here that they still try to push him around and spit oh, on him. Look at that. Look at, oh my God, look at that. Like this person, this girl's just standing there throwing water at him. And you know, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, I'm still a good person. I'm throwing water at this guy. I don't know who he is, but he's been targeted here as the bigot. He's saying things I don't like. So it's okay for me to throw stuff at him because everybody else has bad feelings towards him. This is this, this is disgusting. And it keeps going. I want to get spit on? Dude, you're an idiot. You're a loser. You're two feet tall. You're four foot 11. NYPD, you saw, you see the coffee? You see the throwing on me? You don't do a damn thing about it because you protect groomers. These NYPD, they care about groomers. They, they bring me a coffee. Yeah, I cut it off. Because you're crazy. What are you? Oh, yeah, know. you don't have any gender. <laughs> you don't have this any This is a... I, oh, I want to show that for a second. This is a person calling Alex Stein crazy for the audio listeners. It's um what appears to be, you know, a guy dressed as a woman wearing a leather hat, sort of with a collar on, sort of like an 80s hair metal band member, maybe some um 
Judas Priest or something like that with weird like hieroglyphic makeup on and black lipstick and a nose ring calling Alex Stein crazy and with uh, a nice shawl on as well. But that's just that's just where we at as the trans liberation sign with a person with a mask on under their chin stands in the background. Oh, no. because you're crazy. What are you? Oh, oh yeah, no, you don't no, have a gender. You I'm don't have a gender? First off, I'm, you're a fucking nerd. I'm a narc. Look at this. Fucking move, bro. <laughs> oh, the trannies. Oh, look, the trannies are mad. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and anybody that works for you. Why is that? But I like Because you. you're yes, scared yes, of everybody. No, I'm not. You're I'm petrified. No, I'm not. What, no, I'm not. You're too dumb because you're on too many hormones. <laughs> I love it. Have you, you ever heard of Lupron? Do you know that Lupron is a self-castration drug? No, you know I've, heard, I've heard of the drug. I was have you like, ever heard of Lupron? I've heard the name. So they're giving kids Lupron, which is a castration drug. Here's my wife's boyfriend. You got any chance for our boyfriend? I don't have a car. Come on, you don't have a car? You don't want to support You don't support black people? Are you racist? Look, he's racist. He's racist. You got any money? He's racist. What? Yeah, I'm allowed to protest. What would you like to do? You're causing mixing every time you go in there. You're allowed to go in there. You're allowed to do what you want to do. It just make sure you guys get So I don't know if this guy's an undercover or what, but he's coming up to Alex Stein in sunglasses and a and a toque on or a beanie, if you will, saying, "Oh, listen, you're uh, you're causing a scene every time you go in." I know, but I'm getting hit. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want them to get hurt. Do you understand I, what I'm I, telling you? I'm not afraid to get hurt. That's fine. I'm, trying I'm to not. I don't children. want you to get hurt. I'm, I'm not afraid. afraid. These people are afraid. What? See, you just because you're gay and weird doesn't mean you're right. Primetime 99, Alex Stein. Give me your camera. Come on, Alex. Say hi. Say hi to the internet. It's okay to be gay. Don't cut your penis off today. It's okay to be gay. Don't cut your penis off today. It's okay. It's so funny. No, y'all see me. Y'all see her throw water on me. And y'all do nothing. So she should just throw water on me. Imagine I threw water on you, officer. Get off of that fucking stutter. I will break your face. They're trying to. Oh, you're going to break my face? What are you? Why don't you, the fuck up. Oh, I'm so scared of a pussy like you. Yeah, you guys, what are you guys gonna go cut off a kid's penis? Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. That's why I come from Texas to a bunch of New York pussies like you. <laughs> so what Alex Stein's doing there is obviously antagonizing them, but 